Hey gamers, it's Kristen and I have a haul video for you today. So I did just film an empties video and you will see that up in a couple of days it sounds like because I asked on Instagram which you guys wanted to see first, haul or empties. And you all, as of right now anyway, said, <laughs> said haul. So um, what I said in the beginning of that video, you know, rings true in this one. I know that it's a, it's a tough time to know whether to shoot videos or not. Um, this is the first time I've had in, in over a, well over a month to really sit down and shoot some videos. And um, you guys, it sounds like you want the distraction. So I'm willing to distract myself a little bit and help distract you guys from what's going on, at least for a little bit, just a little, a little reprieve. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've gotten. This could be a long one. I don't know. I, I was hopeful to get it up today. I'm actually shooting this on Sunday the 15th. I'm hopeful to get it up today, but it's just going to kind of depend, I guess. All right, let's just jump into it. Let's stop rambling. Okay, so first of all, this is the most recent thing that I have, have purchased, or that has come in anyway, um, and that is the bundle from ColourPop that um, my good friend Emily um, did, collabed with them and did, so you better believe that I jumped on that. I wanted to be one of the first people to, to get on that. I'd love to support her. Um, I know that a ton of people probably have already hauled these. So I'm going to try to give you guys some swatches here and do them, you know, in a, in a quick way that's not redundant. Cause like I said, I know that most people have done these already. So we are going to go from, I don't know, we'll start with the nude. So the, the, it's a great range of shades. I'm today I'm wearing a combination of these first two on my lips and this is in the shade um, give me some more. It's right here. Let me show you that actually. There. Give me some more. I did a combination of that and then this pinkier nude. That was more of a browner nude. This is more of a pinky nude. And this is in the shade Always Right. Right there. So a little combo of that, although I did shoot my empties video and change my clothes and put my hair up in a ponytail. So, you know, what's left? I don't know. The next one is this beautiful red that's called, I think, chimichanga or something, isn't it? Well, that's interesting. It doesn't say it. The other two say it right on there. This one doesn't. Y'all, it's on the cap. I just sat here for a few minutes trying to figure it out. It's in, it is in chimichanga. <laughs> Seriously. Beautiful red. And this is in the shade Agogo. And that is more of a berry. They're very um, moisturizing. They feel really nice on the lips, by the way, as a side note. Uh, although I've only had them on for a short period of time. And then this is called Treasure Island, and it's a really deep. Well, not as deep as I would have thought. So there you go. But beautiful. Also a nice berry. These are all, these are, you can mix and match these and... I'm excited. Emily, I'm so proud of you, honey. Love ya. All right. Let's get those wiped off. And then, let's see. I, I really am kind of all over the place here with things. I, at the salon that I go to, they carry Jane Airedell. Airedell. I'm not sure which is which. And so I purchased this. And this is the Powder Me Up SPF 30. I just have, you know, been talking about... SPF and how I, I need to not be such a slacker. I don't even know how this works. How about that? I can't figure out the product. But it looks like this. And the reason I want this is because even if I put SPF on my face before I put on my foundation and everything, it's only good for 90 minutes and then it's gone. So let me just see. Is this, do you do it like this? Like, I don't understand. You know, there's no instructions. I can feel that there's a, a hole here but I don't know how to get the powder to come up th through said hole. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I, evidently I'm an idiot. I don't know. You know, I was just trying to see maybe it would take a little time to get some through the puff and onto the, I don't know. I'm going to have to take this along with me. I have a hair appointment this week and ask them why I'm an idiot. I, I, I don't know. But the, my point in this was... <laughs> Was that I thought this would be better. You know, maybe you'd go... <laughs> do you go like that? Wait, 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 wait. I can be smarter than this. So you unscrew this top. 
And then there's a little plastic thing here that you take off. Anyway, I'm not going to do that now, but there is a hole right there. And then it will come through. You know, if you take off the plastic protective, most people would edit that out. Me? Oh, just go ahead. I think I'm an idiot. It's fine. And then um, she actually gave this to me for like Valentine's Day, birthday sort of thing. Um, I bring her stuff. And so she get this, gave this to me. And this is a, a red hot lip kit. And it has a pencil, a lipstick, and a gloss in it. And I've used the gloss um, and the pencil together. I haven't used the lipstick yet. So the this is in terracotta. The pencil is in terracotta. Which is a really pretty, goes with a lot of different things, sort of shade. And the gloss is in Cherry's Jubilee. And it's, an, it's a really cute little, like, pocket-friendly gloss. And it's one of those wands. I love this kind of wand. Can you see how it's like a hourglass? All right, I double swatched that to try to help you see the shade. And then lastly is the lipstick. And... It's in the shade Gwen, I think. I wonder if that's supposed to be like Gwen Stefani or something. You know, she always wears a red lip. Isn't that pretty? Like I said, I'm going to the salon to get my hair done on Wednesday, and um, maybe I'll wear that whole combo. Just because, I mean, who doesn't want to sport a red lip? Uh, it used to be me, for the record. It used to be me. Okay, I'm going to grab out a wipe here. Um, I ordered, it's time my friends, it's time, it's spring, it's time for your baby foot. I ordered one from Amazon, I think actually this time. Baby foot, if you don't know what it is, you soak your feet in this for an hour to an hour and a half, and then you think that everything's going to be fine for four days, and then all of a sudden the foot apocalypse happens and all the skin peels off of your feet, and then you are ready for sandals. Do us and everybody a favor. Get your feet ready for sandal season. <laughs> okay, let's uh, I'm gonna show you some PR here quick and then we'll go back to things that I purchased. This is, um, El Genis just every once in a while will randomly send, send a package. They're, they're very sweet like that. I just showed one of these in my empties. I love this. It's one of my, oh no, lies. Lies. This is something different. I take it all back. This is the Genius Collagen Calming Relief. So it's in a tube like this, and I wonder if it says, let me just see. Um, it says, a gentle restorative cream for, formulated for all types, including skin showing signs of sensitivity that comforts dryness and the look of redness. So I wonder if this would be helpful for rosacea and that sort of thing. Um, the combination of active vegan collagen, algoronic acid, which is their like key, for, key ingredient in all their things, um, calendula, calendula, and other soothing agents is designed to visibly reduce redness and the look of irritated skin, protect and moisture retention, restoring bounce and resilience. Okay, well, I'm glad that I opened that up. Otherwise, I would have totally lied to you guys. All right, we're just going to... That's my going to the bathroom pile over there. And then um, heading to my bathroom. <laughs> and then they sent just a little pack of... Um, little travel goodies which always make me happy this is the um, sleeping collagen it's the one product I have a few of these that I've not tried I keep meaning to the genius anti-aging cream a little thing of that I love this little bag by the way um, and a travel of the collagen calming which um, is that I'm going to assume that the thing that I just had it's a little travel size of that and then a little travel size of the liquid collagen, which I just finished one up and showed in my empties. You guys will see that, and I love this the product. And then a little tiny um, of the Genius Eye Cream. So I'm always, you guys know, I'm always happy when I get travel sizes of anything. It makes, makes me happy, makes my travel life easier and more delightful when it's products that I already love. So I have another PR that I want to talk to you about. So this is a brand called Reefer, Reffer, Reffer. I always get it wrong. Reffer, like reference, Reffer. And they have, they were a couple of engineers that didn't know really anything about makeup brushes. They did a ton of research and, um, you know, a bunch of, oops, I, I forgot one of the brushes. Let me grab it. 
Okay, so they did a ton of research. They asked people, they sent brushes out to people to try. They took feedback and they've created a brush line. And so they have something called their core collection. And that has these five brushes in it and they are dirty because I've been using them. I have a lot of their prototypes I've been traveling with since boy fall early fall I think um, love 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 and I'm gonna check I'm hopeful that this is still available but this brush here is their bronzer brush well that's what I call it so number 22 this is brush sells for $110 but if you order this set their um, core collection set you get this brush for free this is delightful and just as good if not better yes I said just as good if not better as my Tom Ford bronzer brush. It's awesome. So I'm gonna link I'm gonna link their, their website below. They like I said they did send me these, but I don't get anything. I don't it's not it's not like that. I just really I, I like I like what they stand for and how they've done things and okay. So there's a powder brush. A lot of these are multitasking. This can be powder, this could be contour, this could also be bronzer. I've used it for all of those things in traveling before. It's the number five brush. These have nice matte handles, by the way. And this is their blush brush. It's a little bit smaller than a typical blush brush. So here's the one from It Cosmetics, as a for instance. Um, but it works really well and it blends really well. I was very concerned. Um, when I started using it that it just wasn't going to blend as well because it was littler but I actually have really enjoyed it and have, have, found, have come to think of it as one of my favorite blush brushes and then there are three eye brushes um, so the three brush brushes <laughs> the three eye brushes goodness gracious the first one is the number two brush and I like I said they're dirty I've been using them this is a, a dupe of the MAC 239 for me. I love, love, love this. These have shorter handles. Um, let me grab a MAC 239 so you can see the difference in the handles. A little bit shorter. Some people really prefer a shorter handle. They're great for me for travel. Um, and then this is the number one brush. Very similar to a MAC 217 as a reference. Works really well for blending out the crease. It works well for an outer corner. And then this is the one of the best pencil brushes I've ever used. It's the, the number 03. It looks like this. It's probably helpful maybe that there is some on there. It The way that it is cut works so well for either doing a precise, you know, kind of below your lash line or really kind of laying it on its edge a little bit and blending it out. It's, it's awesome. I love it. It's absolutely one of my favorites. So um, those are, like I said, those are the brushes. And then this again is the number 22 brush. Um, it's a lovely bronzer brush. And hopefully it is still the case right now. I don't know how long that goes for. That if you order this kit, you get this one for free. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's see. Let's take a break. I, I think I only, I have some Wander Beauty stuff that's on PR as well. Um, but we'll, we'll go in. I told you this was going to be long. I hope you all got popcorn or something. So I placed an order um, with David for some Estee Lauder products. If you guys have, are, are new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Second of all, um, David is my go-to for all Estee Lauder products and some other things. He's, he really is very knowledgeable in both drugstore and some higher-end makeup. And whenever, but whenever he he works at the Estee Lauder um, counter in at Bergdorf Goodman in New York City. And so when I see stuff, I'm always like, dude, do I need this? And he's very good about saying, eh, no, you probably have that. Or, yeah, I think you'd really like that. So most recently, I ordered the Sumptuous Nudes palette. This is the box, if that's helpful. And there are six shades in this. I love how it looks like a uh, headboard, doesn't it? Anyway, these are the shades. Beautiful. These are great for spring and summer. I have used this palette. I, one good thing about me having collected these things is I can tell you about the things that I have used and what I think about them. Um, I brought this on my trip with me. The shimmers are beautiful. That's the top three. And the one is like a satin to matte. And the other one performs like a matte and the one is a satin. You can see there. See the one is very similar to my shade or to my skin tone. And then the lower has a really nice matte transition shade. It has a beautiful taupe. I mean, what's not to like about a taupe? And there you go. Just stunning. It's one of those taupes that doesn't, 
it leans a little warmer, I think, than it looks in the in the pan, for one. And it is doesn't have like the metallicness. It's just a lovely taupe being a taupe without any metallic. I don't know what that means. I don't know what being a taupe means. I, I have no idea. All right. <clears throat> and then uh, I was asking him about, I don't really have a ton of peach lipsticks. So one of the ones, so I asked him to kind of take a look and suggest one. And this is in the shade, it's from the Pure Envy line, and it's in the shade Angel Lips, right? Yes. It's the Pure Color Envy High Luster. Oops, I just turned it the wrong way. Let me put it up a little bit for you. So that's what it looks like. This is a great shade. And I'll list his information below if you want to give him a call and, and um, you know, work with him. He's he's awesome to work with. He's, he knows, like I said, he knows a lot of, about other makeup besides just Estee Lauder. So um, if you're like, well, I have this, he might know, you know, anyway. So this shade is beautiful. You can put it over a brown lip liner that you filled in. It'll lean more brown. You could put it over a peach and it'll be really peach. I've put it over a peach, like a pink one and put this over and it's more like a peachy pink. It's, it's a really great shade to combine with lots of different um, lip liners. So I was really happy with that recommendation. Thank you so much again, David, if you are watching this. And then lastly, I ordered this, the Futuristic Hydra Rescue Foundation. Haven't tried this one yet though. Um, it's in the shade 2N something, 2N1, and they were out of it forever. So let's just see. I'm kind of scared. So often I find it tricky to, oh, yep, this is going to work, I think. Oh, that's excellent. There you go. You kind of see what the formula it was. A little bit watery, um, so not super thick. I've heard good things. Um, we will see. That coverage looks like it's really good too. I mean, granted, I pumped out enough for a full face onto my hand, but yeah, that's, it looks beautiful. I'm excited about that. Lisa, Lisa SEO9, she um, has really been loving this as well. She's like, did you try it yet? I was like, well, I've been waiting for my shade to come in and, and um, he texted me as soon as it came in and, and it, he shipped it out for me. Okay. Next, I decided I've been waiting for this stuff to come in stock on Sephora and I finally gave up. And so I ordered from Pat McGrath Labs directly. Um, and I wanted to get their her like concealer lineup. So I have used this a couple of times. I can and so well, okay, let me just back up the truck. Um, I got the concealer in L2. This is really it's a glass package in case you're curious. It has a doe foot applicator. This is the shade. It's a little bit bright for me, but it works perfectly because it's under the eye. If it was just on my face, it would not work. Um, so I got that. I then also got the brush. It just says, let me just see if it says anything on the on here. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer Brush. Also a very short little brush. And I was just so curious about this because of how it's cut. It's very different from any other brush that I have. Just trying to give you a, give you the full shot here. Um, and it's interesting when it kind of show you kind of, you know, you have to go like this with it. So here's what I would say about it. It's nice. It's different. You don't need it. <laughs> I end up using it because I have it and I kind of, you know, like pull it down where I want and, and it and spread it out. But then I end up taking my finger and just going like that anyway. So I don't think it's necessary. The concealer so far, I've used it three, four times. Seems really, really nice. It doesn't, um, it seems to stay put. It seems to last all day. Um, I've been very, very happy with it so far, early on. And then the other thing I purchased is the um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. Y'all, this is good. It's really good. I really like it. Um, it's very similar to the By Terry, but it's pressed, um, which just adds a little ease. I just want you guys to see. I got it in the shade light. There are other shades. There's a medium and a dark. It just, I can't, there's no way you can, well, you can kind of see when you put it on your hand how it blurs. If you can see it's on this side of my hand and, and it's tough to it's tough to tell on camera. I'll stop. Somebody I had somebody say once, well it's tough to see for sure because you keep moving. <laughs> so rightfully so. They had they had a very good point. But it's so soft. It makes your skin feel so, so soft. So 
I don't know yet. I don't want to say that I like it better than the by Terry because you guys know I love the by Terry, but I do like it a lot. And if I, I just want to be careful about traveling with it because of how it's packaged, I just am not sure how well it will travel, but so far so good. All right, I have some PR from um, Wander Beauty I want to show you, and then I have stuff that I purchased at Sephora, and then we're done. I, I, I realize. It's been a long time. I don't, I don't even know if I've done one yet this year. So, all right, first and foremost, not foremost, it's first, <laughs> honestly. This is the Wander Beauty Mist Connection. It says, never miss a step of your skincare routine again with Mist Connection. This two-in-one formula combines essence, which is an oil-based, and toner, water-based, which blend together when you shake. So you can simplify your skincare routine without ever missing a step. Mist Connection com or primes skin to create a moisturized balance and soften base for the rest of your skincare routine to work more effectively. The result, well-balanced skin that's not too dry and not too oily. Um, interesting. I am very curious about that. Of course, there's tape on it. We're very secure at Wander Beauty. <laughs> um, let me get in. Let me just get into this. And some of these things they sent me quite a while ago. I, f I feel badly that I haven't been able to share them with you guys until now, but that's all right. Better late than never. Um, and so this, I, I've been shaking it around, so it's probably not separated. But so you just shake it and spray it. I just want to spray it on my skin and see. It smells like a spa. You know what I mean? That sort of smell. Very interesting. I'm going to have to use that. I'm going to switch to that when my toner is out. Um, next is Glow Ahead Face Oil. I have one of these open right now. This is a Glow Ahead Face Oil, right? Illuminating Face Oil. Is that the same? Hmm. Um, I'm going to, I'm almost positive that it's the same. So I'm going to leave this in here because I don't know that I'll get through that. Well, I don't know. Maybe I will. Sometimes I like to share, you know, and then if it's sealed, then I can share. This is the Drift Away Cleanser. <coughs> and that, I think I have a small size of this and I haven't used it yet. So I'm trying to see how it, oh, look, it's that kind of pump. Ooh, I'm excited about that. I, I'm just, I just started using um, one of the ones I got in my Lucky Bag for a cleanser. So I'll put that in the lineup next. And then in a different bag that they had sent me, this is the Wander Beauty All-Inclusive Shampoo and Body Wash. It says gel to foam, so it looks like this. And let's actually open this up so I can give you a, a smell. I will generally not use this sort of thing for shampoo but I'll absolutely use it for body wash. Oh, it smells very much like a spa, just like that other one. This is how that smells. Um, awesome, that's fun. And then this is a hair treatment. Interesting. So this says, is there, oh yes, there's information on here. Scenic root hair treatment. This, by the way, retails for $28. It has it on here, which is helpful. This retails for $30. And this says the restorative 3-in-1 hair treatment does triple duty as daily conditioner, uh, as a daily conditioner, intensely hydrating hair mask, and detangling leave-in treatment. Formulated with a combination of grapeseed and coconut oil to seal in moisturizer, promote shine without adding weight, hairs left silky, frizz-free, Frizz free and ready. So it says as a daily conditioner, smooth and even layer onto hair from roof to tip and rinse with warm water. As a leave-in mask, you apply to hair evenly and leave on for 20 minutes before rinsing. And as a leave-in, you just apply a small amount onto your fingertips and comb through and style your hair as usual. So let's take a sniff and see if that also smells like spa. I can't really tell. Yes, also smells like spa, which is awesome. Very cool. Um, and I'll read you what the, the shampoo and body wash, it says, go from head to toe with this two-in-one transforming gel to foam um, shampoo and body wash. This multitasking do-it-all cleanser creates a luxurious lather to reinvigorate dull hair and skin, letting you do more with less during your shower routine. Bamboo extract creates softer, shinier hair, making it more man manageable while doing double duty to smooth and calm skin. Coconut oil and... Panthenol, add shine and moisturize hair while skin feels soothed and 
better retains moisture, better retains hydration. Sorry, there's a slight pause because Bob came in and turned on the TV. I'm like, dude, I'm shooting videos. And then lastly is, interestingly enough, maybe we should put this up because there's not a lot to do right now, um, is a puzzle. Isn't that fun? Like, what a neat idea. Um, I totally forgot that that was, that that was in here. Um, and I'm going to guess it looks like this. So I'm going to put that in. We're going to do that. Because, you know, pretty soon there's not going to be much TV to watch either. There's no sports. Oh, I tell you. And that's, I I'm, I'm promise you, I'm not making light of the situation. I promise you. Just, just trying to, you know. Okay. All right. So lastly, I want to share with a uh, birthday gift that I got with you. And then, um, because it's makeup related. And then um, I have things from Sephora that I hauled at some point. I mean, that I purchased at some point over the last few months. So this was a very sweet gift from my friend Kristen from Kristen321. She sent me the Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk palette. I was going back and forth and couldn't decide. Um, so this is that. I'm sure you guys have seen this a hundred times. Um, I could do a look at this on a video if you want or something. I just feel like everybody is probably doing it. And I say probably because quite, quite honestly, well, you guys know I'm all, I'm, I'm always honest with you. I um, have not been watching videos for months. I just, I just haven't taken the time to do so. Um, and I don't know what's, I don't even know what people are talking about. I don't know what's new, what's not new, what, you know, I, I, I know nothing. I got nothing. Um, okay. I actually was just looking to see, I was looking for a palette I couldn't find. All right. So first things first, I hope that this is still on sale because this is a great palette. This is the Fenty Moroccan Spice palette. Probably people have been talking about this for months. I, again, I have no idea. But this was $59 and I bought it for $29 when I was in Sephora the other day. Look at how nice that is. And I have used all but a couple of the shades. I think there's maybe three or four that I haven't used. And they're great. They perform really well. So I'm curious if you guys, and I, I did a really fun look, I, I thought anyway, the other day with some of these warmer shades and then I popped that beneath my lower lash line. The only shade in here, I should say, actually, that I did not think performed well is this one right here. It's a really deep, it looks like a deep green, but it just shows up black. So I'll, I'll play with it maybe over like an evergreen liner and then put that over something like that and see. But as far as performance, the rest of them have all performed well and have shown up exactly like they, exactly like they appear. It's a great, I think it's a great buy, especially at $29. Um, all right, it's somewhere, you know what? I did not buy this. This came in my lucky bag. You've already seen that. Moving on. Sorry. Um, but this I did buy recently. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. I'll give you swatches of this because there's only five of them. I'm not sure why that was hard to say. Five. Um, this is great. Um, this is what I'm wearing on my eyeballs today. I used it for the first time. So far, so good is all I can really say, I guess. And, um, oh, sorry. I swatched that without showing you. That's the last one. And that is what they look like. I really like the Natasha Denona. I like the smaller palettes. I just think, I don't know. I don't know that the performance is any different from the big large palettes to the smaller palettes, but I just prefer the smaller ones. I don't know. And I've had some of the bigger ones too and just decided to. Okay, and then a couple of replenishments. I have, I got two more of these. This is the Becca Travel Primer. That's what I like for my primer. I'm going to stick these on my drawer right here. What's funny is that I thought I was out and I had two down there. So now I have four. Some people are hoarding toilet paper. I'm apparently hoarding primer. I... And lastly, <laughs> the Hourglass Mascara. I just had one of these in my empties. So you'll see that when that goes up. And um, this is, I just love this mascara. Big, big, huge fan. So if you're not, it's the Caution. Ex oh, you guys, did I buy the wrong one? Oh no, I didn't. Oh, there it is. It's just on the other side. I saw this and thought that I, whatever, you know what? I'm a lunatic. It's fine. Um, so I'm not going to quite open this yet because I have another one that a different mascara that I'm using right now, but big fan. Love this mascara. It's spectacular. And then I think lastly is my birthday gift that I got from Sephora. I, I didn't love any of them this year. So I chose the, um, bum bum creams. I like the yellow one. I don't love the blue one so much, but whatever. It's fine. That's my haul, you guys. I know that I was a lot of talking. Gave you a few reviews in there. Other things that I'll play around with and review. Um, I, 
I'm not sure why I had to do that on camera. You know, sometimes I just feel like my ponytail's sliding down and I'm losing the little heights that I like there and I have to fix it immediately. Um, okay, so I don't know that I'm gonna do four looks, one palette anymore. I, I had retired it completely, I brought it back. It just people just don't don't love them anymore and I get it it's all it's fine it's totally good um, but maybe I'll do a get ready with me with one of these and talk more about the palette and as I'm doing get ready with me or something like that I'm not sure I gotta have to think about that and mull it over my brain the the only thing is that I like doing for a looks one palette so maybe I'll just do it and if people watch it they do and if they don't they don't <laughs> I don't know but at any rate that's my haul um, I hope that that was a little bit of a distraction from the real from the real world and what's going on right now. Um, I love and I care about you guys, whether I know you um, individually or not. Please love and care for your neighbors. Look out for people that can't look out for themselves. And in everything that you do and say, be beautiful. Bye.